In this video, we will look at solving, graphing, and giving interval notation for a compound inequality which uses the operator AND. A compound inequality is made of two or more parts. This one, connected by AND, means we want to look for the values for x that make both of these equations true at the same time. If one equation doesn't work, then the entire compound inequality doesn't work. I'm sorry, if one inequality doesn't work. Solving, though, works exactly the same as solving other inequalities. Let's move the variable on the left side to one side. Our inequality is 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 5x minus 7. Subtracting 2x from both sides, we'll move the variable all to the right. 8 is greater than or equal to 3x minus 7. Next, we can add 7 to both sides as we work to isolate the x, giving us 15 is greater than or equal to 3x. Finally, dividing both sides by 3 gives us 5 is greater than or equal to x. And for the second inequality, 5x minus 3 is greater than 3x plus 1, we'll move the variable to one side by subtracting 3x from both. This gives us 2x minus 3 is greater than 1. It's now a two-step inequality. We can add 3 to both sides, giving us 2x is greater than 4. Finally, dividing both sides by 2 gives us x is greater than 2. To find out what values make this compound inequality work, we'll draw a graph or a picture of the solutions. The first inequality is 5 is greater than or equal to x. We need a closed circle at 5, and because the x is the smaller value, because the inequality points at the x, we need to go down towards smaller values. The second inequality, should have done that first one in green so it stood out a little more. There we go. The second inequality starts at 2 with an open circle, and because it's greater, greater than the number, we go off to the right. To decide what makes it onto the final actual number line, we remember that we're talking about an AND, which requires both inequalities to be true. We notice that the overlap starts at 2 and ends at 5. From 2 to 5, including the 5 but not the 2, the graphs overlap and both inequalities are true. This is what makes it onto the actual final number line. We can represent this small area in interval notation, smallest value at 2 with a curve bracket because we can't actually be equal to 2, comma 5, with a square bracket, because we can actually equal 5. This tells us that if we pick any number between 2 and 5, including 5, but not 2, not just the first, not just the second, but both inequalities, because of the AND, are true inequalities.